Hi, and welcome from the team at Leverage Technologies to this presentation of SAP Business One 8.82 with a specific focus today on the sales accounts receivable process. What we'll do is have a look today at sales quotations, sales orders and AR invoicing with a brief review of sales reporting in SAP. Now it's important to note that within SAP Business One, I can follow a very specific process of creating a sales quotation, which is copied to a sales order, a delivery and an AR invoice. Or alternatively, I can simply step in and do, for example, an AR invoice without the preceding documentation. SAP Business One gives you the flexibility to configure the system either to follow the specific process of quotation, order, delivery and invoice, or to follow your own process where, for example, you may only do a sales order and AR invoice or just an AR invoice. The beauty of this is that you as an organization can decide on which process suits you best and you configure SAP Business One accordingly. For the sake of this presentation though, let's start with a sales quotation. What we see in front of us now is the SAP Business One sales quotation form. To call up the customer who I'm going to quote, I can click on the button and that'll bring up a list of customers. I could do a wildcard search or simply start by typing part of the name and calling up that particular customer. I can decide who this quotation is before. We'll say it's for Bob. I can put a reference, a posting date of today. Let's make the quotation valid until this time next week. And now let's go in and choose an item or range of items for quotation. Again, a nice feature of SAP Business One, I've gone to the item description, I've typed in IBM, and the system has automatically given me a list of IBM products. I'm gonna choose the IBM InfoPrint 1222. I'm gonna sell a quantity of 12. Now the price, the unit price, has been collected from SAP Business One from a price list. That could be a retail price list, a customer specific price list for Earthshaker in this instance, or a range of different pricing scenarios which you set up inside the system. Our sales employee is Sophie, and I can put some text. So let's put some text in here. I can obviously do things like subtotals, for example, I could put discounts, I can put freight. So there we have our initial quotation. Very nice fields as well available in SAP Business One. I have my open quantity, my in stock and my committed and ordered. What we can see in this quotation is I have a number of fields available to me. Item number, catalog number, item description, etc. Now if I want to reduce the number of fields or increase the number of fields, if I've got permission to do so, I simply click on the table format and I can see here a number of additional fields which are available to me. So let's say for example I want to add in the commission percentage. I simply tick on that button and now one of the additional fields I can see is the commission percentage. This is a very simple way of allowing me to add to the columns or reduce the number of columns in that quotation. What I'll now do is I'll add that quotation in Back arrow takes me back to that quotation. Now obviously if I'd like to, I can do things like, I can, from directly from within the system, I can PDF, and then I can fax or email that quotation directly to my customer. And of course that quotation and PDF can be in the format that I choose using something like the SAP Business One Crystal Reports for that document. Let's go in now and from this quotation, what we'll do is we'll right click and we'll have a look at some other information available to us. I can create an activity against this quotation which will attach the quotation to the activity. Now the reason to do this is this might be a quote and I want to send it to my manager. I can create an activity in SAP Business One. The activity will automatically then attach this quotation as an attached document or a linked document. And then the activity can be assigned to my manager and it will appear 
in his inbox. Let's have a look at the gross profit for this quotation. I click on gross profit and there what I can see is the gross profit is $2,038.88 and I can see the basis of the base price for that calculation. Let's go ahead now and we'll copy that sales order to, sorry, sales quotation to a sales order. What I now have is the ability to put in a delivery date. So let's put a delivery date in of tomorrow. Now it's asking me in SAP, do you want to update the existing table rows with a new delivery date? The reason for that question is I can have a different delivery date per row in the system, if I so wish. I'm just going to say yes. Now, of course, if I've got permission to do so, I can change. Let's say, for example, they're not ordering 12. They want to order 11 of those, and I'm going to change the price slightly. I can do that within the system. I've got that flexibility. I can also add some additional notes. And then as I add that, that will become a sales order in the system. So I've copied the sales order directly from the quotation. Another nice feature to note, let's say for example, I'm at this point here, and I change that to 120. The system will now tell me that I don't have enough for, to have a sales order of 120 of those items. And the system will say, do you want to continue? Do you want to change to the available quantity, i.e. 20? Do you want to display your available to promise report? Do you want to look at quantities in other warehouses? So perhaps I have some in a, a different warehouse. Uh, I'm in New South Wales and in my Queensland warehouse I've got some. Do I want to display alternative items? So as an example, do I want to have a look at an item which may be a close match to the IBM InfoPrint 1222? And I can call my customer and say, I don't have enough to fulfill your order, but would you like to consider this alternative item? Let's just have a look at our Available to Promise report quickly. There I can see my Available to Promise report in my Sydney warehouse, what I've got in stock, my delivery dates, my order dates, my ordered, my committed, and my available. And I can see that I have 20 available at this point in time. So what we'll now do is we'll change it to the available quantity and it changes to 20. As I now add in this particular document, what I can see is I've gone from quotation to sales order. Again now, I can copy that to an AR invoice inside the system. So what we've demonstrated there is the ability to start with a quotation, copy that through with some changes to a sales order, and again copy that through to an AR invoice. Of course, let's not forget there's other information available. If I'm on this particular AR invoice and I right click, I get access to, again, my gross profit, my volume and weight calculations, my packaging, related activities, and a very nice function called the relationship map. Let's click on that. What this now shows me is that I started with a quotation, became an order, became an AR invoice. If I now want to drill down to that original quotation, I simply click on the item and now I'm down to the original quotation. Of course, at this point I can click down and I can get to the item master data as well, including inventory data, in stock, committed, ordered, available, item costs, etc. So again, just another nice feature in SAP Business One showing me the relationships between the various documents, between the sales quotation, the order, the AR invoice, with the ability to drill down to that source document and drill around at that point in time. I've also got the ability, if I push Control L, I now have a lot of other information associated with that particular invoice as well. And we can see a number of different fields giving me additional information associated with unit price, discounts, price after discounts, which warehouses, sales employees, projects, etc. inside SAP Business One. So there's a lot of information there that I can use. Let's go back now to our original menu system. We've demonstrated the ability to do a quotation, an order, an AR invoice. Of course, as an in-between step, I could have also put through a delivery with the required delivery documentation as well. I can, of course, do AR credit notes at this point in time inside the system. 
I can also have recurring transactions in SAP Business One. Let's have a brief look now at sales reports. Nice features of SAP Business One. If I want to have a look, for example, at all open sales quotations, I simply go to my open items list, click on quotations, and there they are. I can, of course, sort and drill down to a particular item as I wish. If I want to have a look at all my open sales orders, there are my open sales orders. Now my open AR invoices. So from one screen, I'm simply moving around and getting access to the information I want. And then I'm double clicking and sorting that information. I've of course got my sales analysis, which could be my analysis by customers, by items or by sales employees for one customer or a range of customers or just certain properties associated with customers or items. I've of course got a document draft reports. This is very useful if, for example, I have a situation where I am doing a document, for example, a quotation, and I need to leave my desk for an hour or so, I can save that as a document draft, come back later and continue the quotation. I can also copy a quotation from an old quotation or an old sales order. I can duplicate an old one just to save time. I can look at my back order report, my monthly customer status report, my sales analysis by item report, and these can be embedded crystal reports as well. And of course, my back order analysis. So what we've seen in today's presentation is an overview of creating the documents throughout the sales process. And we've had a brief look at some of the sales reporting inside SAP Business One. Thanks for your time. I hope you enjoyed the presentation.